The streets belong to everyone, but most importantly, they belong to the youth. Okay, we're coming from Zimbabwe. How can we create our own interpretation of where we are coming from? Because street art is not just for the city. How can we take it from the city to the village, to the community, to, I don't know, I don't know, man. I studied art as a degree at university, and I, my background is painting. I'm a painter, you know, I used to paint on canvas. Now I no longer paint on canvas. As an artist, I wouldn't want to be confined to a certain style that in a certain institution says, this is what's acceptable. So in street, with street art, you can do anything. You can paint anything that you want, at any time. After college, we're sitting, we're unemployed and like, my G, what do we do? What do we do? Let's start something. And then we started Calligraph. That's when we learned, you know, that street art is you can monetize painting on walls. That's where we got the power to, to keep on painting. The inspiration really comes through from traveling. When you see it happen in, in and around the globe or in and around the continent, you're like, how can we also play our part? Let's also create job and amazing things within Zimbabwe. Let's see all of those things within our own space. is inspired by a whole lot of what's happening within the streets, within different communities, within different cultural backgrounds. How can we tell a Zimbabwean narrative which is all original and authentically ours? This is our first attempt to, um, to paint and to bring out indigenous and traditional patterns. So right now we are doing research into the national archives, you know, the national uh, museums on what are the traditional Shona patterns and the traditional colors that are not public so that we can bring them onto walls, onto fabric, you know, into fashion and so much. We grew up with these grey, clean cities where, you know, it's always different color shades of walls that also do not inspire. Because when you look at it, you see more gray, you see more white, you see more, it's, it's more dark and dull colors. In the spaces that we're living in, it's still the, the same colonial architecture, the same colonial um, shops, everything, but it's the mindset now that we're changing. For us, coming here and leaving our markets, like, okay, this is our space. We can say whatever we want. We are reclaiming the streets. We are reclaiming the narrative of where, of where we live. We are reclaiming our communities. We are reclaiming everything. So it's a, it's a matter of freedom. You see, that's what freedom means. And I think that's what uh, um, the liberators, uh, the guys who fought for, for freedom wanted, for us to be able to tell our stories, our own way, in our shared spaces like, like this.